a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the uh, Gullah people of South Carolina. Those are my peoples on my mother's side. Yeah. Uh, it's a rendering of the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And uh, what interests me in these readings is that uh, uh, these are, well, well, at least my, well, these are my peoples, right? And I've always wondered how they got freed, you know, or literate so fast when they were freed back there during uh, bad old days of chattel slavery. Anyway, but they became uh, very proficient at reading and writing very quickly. And the answer, of course, is that they used the uh, Holy Bible. It's the only book they had around the Holy Bible. The books were very, books are more precious then than that. Now books are you just, they like snowflakes. You don't care about them, right? But uh, back then to have a book, ooh, like that. And if you could read a book, ooh, uh, there's something else. But anyway, uh, but um, they they learned from uh, the King James Version of the Holy Bible, which is in this, in this uh, Gullah Bible. They have it in a smaller type right there on the side, and then that's the translation uh, of the Gullah, which is the, the bigger type, which is why I wear reading glasses provided by the VA. Shout out to the VA. Uh, so we just pick any page. I just pick the page up. Uh, 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 584, and we'll do 584.12. Oh, it's a short one. Should I do a longer one? No, I do 584.12. Uh, uh, so if one uh, on a Think e that stand up strong and honor and order take care that e ain't gonna fall down. And the twelve is wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Oh, that's a nice neat one. And as you know, we read these uh, twice. So if one of a honor think. He that stand up strong in order to take care for uh, take care that he ain't gonna fall down. Wherefore let him this is the translation, wherefore let him think I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Oh, and this is a, oh, it's a Saturday right now, so I usually uh, revealed or well. Like why like I said the reason why I do this I'm connecting to my lineage, uh, and that's that's what we that's what we do. So I, I read um, one to six times a week. I should say three to at least three to six times a week. Um, usually it's about six. Out of the out of the the Gullah Bible, this is the Gullah Bible. Uh, I gotta get another copy. And usually on Saturday I reveal the set. The set has changed a bit, right? I mean not changed. I mean we still have you know, still have my wisdom not there, and you still have the uh, the uh, David Hammond's uh, rendering of the African American experience as as an artist he did that at some biannual some art art thing so it's actually an art piece that people have taken it up I think it means Black America then you have the scholar right there I just it comes from a calendar of last year and I just thank the scholarship this is my scholarship corner well, I shouldn't say it like that this is a map of Africa but this is the map before the colonizers came and carved it up you know to eat. They keep continue to eat, eat, to get nourishment from Africa. You know, what can we say? On this side, you have a, a picture of my wife and me. This is in Alice, but it looks like any place in the uh, quote, quote end quote third world, right? That's just a picture of uh, me and a Rasta. Uh, I just really like the picture, so I made it. And that's the picture. That's like with that picture up there with the little girl. That's a call. I call it conspiracy theory because conspiracy picture because she's like conspiring with me. And if you notice that on both these pictures, as well as uh, this here, I have this, I have a hat on, this hat here. This is uh, made by my wife, it's a reversible hat. And I've turned it into, a, I'm making a, a, a whole hat series where I'm taking selfies with, with people as I travel, because um, I'm traveling now, while well, I'm in Virginia for about a month, another, well, month, six weeks, whatever. And then I travel to uh, uh, St. Louis and then uh, on to, or Northwest or whatever, and to uh, Canada, and then probably back down to New who would, who knows back down to New York, then back to Virginia, then finally back to Africa. And all these travels, taking these pictures because they're going to exist on the on the, on my the community little the tiny community center uh, I'm building in Dabaza. Uh, well, it's built already, but I mean you know we're working in Dabaza to help the community. But it'd be like a mosaic, uh, you know, a, a montage of all these faces from all over all over the world. Uh, but it's called the African Hat Series. 
you know, in this picture here, you know, so I call it the three guys in Cape Town. You know, Sikalele here, he's the, 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 the staunchly Zulu brother. That he gave me that headdress that I have one right there. And that's that's Ian. Uh, he's the father of that little girl right there. And so that's, so, oh, and this, here's what's new on the set. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to show you back there. See, you have the American flag back there. That that picture up there, that's a picture of the front thing of my resume. If you know, oh, this is kind of, let me just show you this for just a second. If you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but that's me with, with, a, uh, with a talking drum. And uh, that T-shirt I have on is T-shirt of Steve Biko. All right. It's a Biko T-shirt right there. But here's, here's, oh, also on this thing here, we have uh, the Henry Dumas article on Henry Dumas. Uh, but here's the No More Radio st standard that my wife uh, did for me you know, like that. But here's the new chair. That's a great chair. It's now my reading chair. My, uh, how, how, I don't know what to call it, you know. It's my reading chair. My, uh, uh, my thinking chair. It's my chair chair. <laughs> it's comfortable. Real, real leather seats. Real wood. Hey, wait. No, let me back up like that. Ah. Uh, feel like a king. And so when I'm reading my what current book I'm reading right now. Reading this this sister here that I never knew. But anyway, reading this sister, so I just I'm at this page here. I'm reading uh what am I reading from her? There's a thing called the The Planet of Junior Brown. Sorry. This is a chair I sit here and I read and it's really comfortable. I can even it's like little grooves I can put my elbow in and stuff like that. Like that. Okay. So, well, you don't want to know about all that stuff I'm reading because I got some other stuff. Oh, here's what I got to read. Talk about religion. Oh, and tomorrow, remember, tomorrow Sunday, every Sunday, Sunday sermons with Mr. Nitty Fuller Jr., where we read out of the compensatory concept. This book right here, it's, uh, every Sunday, we give it our Sunday sermon because this is our book of scripture right here. But I got this from uh, the great scholar John Mason, the great uh, scholar on, on Yoruba culture. Uh, or Santeria, or whatever you want to call it. Kind of this is the book I'm going to read. Um, I'm going to start reading New World Black Gods. It's the book I'm going to read. I think I might start. I, I might start it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start it right almost right away. He has songs and stuff like that. Then he has this other book, the, book, the big, the big tome. But I'm not going to read this. And I'm going to just take this back to Africa. But I'm going to read this in Africa like that. I might leave it here. I don't know. I'll see what happens. Might be too much weight. I don't want to carry a lot of weight there, but I'm building a library in Africa, even though I have my library here too. So that big book might say there. I might take, take a small book to Africa. Plus this, this other book I want to get on on Zoom. I'll get that book edited. That's it. Just want to let you know, I being uh, me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>